Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we have beaten uh, Queen Goma inside of the Great Dagger Tree, and we were about to take the warp outside. So let's go in this blue light, and we will be warped outside. Well done, Link. Thou hast fairly demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou would be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast his dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his five sorcerer's powers in his search for the second realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that second realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Then, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Ferore, the goddess of courage. Then, with her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru provided her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Ferore. With a rich soul, reduce all life forms who will uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their powers completed, departed from the heavens. The golden second triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the second triangles have become the basis of a world's provenance, and the resting place of the second triangles has become the second realm. Thou must never allow the desert man with black armor to lay his hands on the second triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the second realm of legend. That evil man who cast a death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There. Thou will surely be the princess of destiny. Take the stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse upon me. You got to go carry his emerald, this is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Daggy Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the furry, help me to carry out my will. I, 
the treat you loving. Good day. Castle Link. Goodbye, Grid Doggy Tree. I always like that they're saying it's a very, um, <coughs> it's a very, um, it's a very good scene, like, start of the game with, you know. Hey, Link, what did, what did you do? The Great Doggy Tree, did he die? How did you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Uh, dude, he said he was doing from the start, so I didn't have anything to do with it. Anyways, let us now um, go for those wish and go visit the Princess of Destiny at Hyrule Castle, as he called it. Um, so let's just get out of the forest then. So basically, we can now leave the forest. So we basically have the world available to us. I have let's get back some rubies, why not? Can I back up up there now? It's a bit curious if I've got it or not, but apparently not. Let's grab this here, Ruby. Okay. And uh, Navi wants us. I. Eh, what, 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 what do you want? The Great Daggy Tree wanted us to go to visit the princess at Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? Navi, I was just on my way. So I just leave the forest? For another cutscene. Oh, you're leaving. I knew. That you will leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me, my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. So we now received the fairy ocarina as my mother from Saria, just had to see and press the C button to start playing it. On the slight item subscreen, you can set it to blah blah blah, and then use that blah to start playing it. You can play different notes with blah, and then four blah buttons, press, press blah to quit playing or start your song over again. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. And then Link just sort of... Like, he doesn't know what to do here, he's just sort of going, I don't want to leave, but I have to. It's, it's, a, it's a nice wee scene out there, I do enjoy that wee scene. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, it was a nice enough wee scene there. But, uh, there you go. And welcome to... Hyrule Field. Pretty much the, um... The main area of the game, pretty much. You'll be, you be seeing this area quite a lot. This is the overworld, so, uh, uh, so to speak. So, uh, let's get going. And, um... Oh, boy. Woohoo! Link, up here! It appears that time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged. Even during the toughest times. Go straight this way, and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the sunscreens in Z or R to find the map. On the map sunscreen you will find. You will also see a flashing dot, I can't talk, showing you which way to go next. Did you get all that? Yes I did. Alright then. I'll see you around. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get around the voice way I'm so I'm sparing many bites. I don't know if I was any good or not. But um this is Hyrule Field. Uh, basically Hyrule Castle is to the north of Hyrule Field. And as you see, Link moves a bit slow. Even with rolling he is not quick. And this has been encountered by just by doing side jumps, I guess, but um the best way of moving is just by walking backwards, surprisingly. This is actually is the fastest way of moving so it is, so um, if you need to get somewhere in a hurry, do that there. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty good speedrunning type 
a technic here, so um, it's pretty handy to know. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get to the castle before night time comes, because as soon as night time comes up, uh, the drawbridge of the castle will go up. And I don't know if I have enough time to get there. Will I have enough time? Can I get there in time? Oh, what the? Dude, you missed the drawbridge. Ah! Hang up there. Oh well. Um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll scrub this here away. So basically, at daytime in Hyrule Field, um, you just have to wait to day, just for daytime to get um to the uh, to get the Hyrule Castle because drawbridge is up and we can't get into the Hyrule Castle. So we have to sort, sort of wait. But at nighttime, you will encounter some enemies. These are. Style child, don't be afraid of style child, just attack it repeatedly. So, just pretty much attack it. If you want, you can, you can fight many of these here guys, and eventually a big style child will be here. Let's see if we can get that to happen. So, we're trying to beat some of these here guys. Get one of the big ones up here. So, we're just trying to do this here very quickly. Okay. Oh. What a big one, come on. Big one to be appearing soon. Okay. Any big ones yet? There we go, there's a big one. It's just pretty much the same as Style Child, just a bigger version of it. And I got hit by it, of course. Can I beat you? Yep. This is anything really spectacular about it, it's just a bigger version of the Style Child, so... And you can see, nighttime to daytime doesn't take, doesn't take too long, really. So, uh, yeah, if you want to just sort of hop up here and start kind of hit you at all, so that's pretty cool. But here comes daytime, your bridge is going down. And if you want to get some rupees, I guess you can hop onto the chain here and you can climb up to the top. And if you want, you can jump this way, get some rupees. Hop down, and let's go through. And uh, let's go in here first before we explore this area. There's like a little house here, a lot of paths here if you want to destroy. But uh, most importantly, rupees of course, I'm already maxed out rupees, but most importantly, if you roll into this crate, you can break it and reveal it, and there goes Skullchilla. So, let's kill that one, get our token. That's basically all we want to do here. I don't think there's anything else in here really, except for some paths if you want to get some rupees. That's mostly it. Um, we'll go through here. This is the market. So basically there's a lot of shops around here. People uh, shopping and whatnot. Um, so yeah. We will explore this place a lot more in the future, just not now. Because we have stuff to do. But uh, hello. Speak. Hey, your clothes, they're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My, own, my dad owns, <laughs> owns Lon Lon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk and he hasn't came back yet. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, what you want to do here is go basically to he this here way. This here basically is um, Hyrule Castle. But what you want to do is basically leave this area. Okay, just leave this area. You will notice that uh, the lawn is not sitting there. The Malon is not there anymore, you can go back in again. This here will activate um, Malon being over there, but um, I think we'll leave uh, Hyrule Castle for another part. Um, that's my one press LDP. Hope you enjoy this part of uh, Ocarina of Time, and I will see you guys next time. So long.